Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hasabi Makarwa's channel. We're back with the Beetle. It's been on the back burner for a long time. If you're a subscriber to our channel, you've seen this car before and you've seen a couple of the repairs that we've done to it so far. We still have some issues left, so I'm going to run a scan and see what kind of codes I have. So let's take a look. Okay, so I run a quick scan and I have a 16725, which is the camshaft position sensor. Here's the code up close. Sometimes it takes more than usual when you crank it to start and when it starts it feels sluggish. The computer doesn't want to advance the timing because it's not receiving the cam sensor signal. So we're going to do some basic troubleshooting but it's very likely that this cam sensor is going to have to be replaced. Alright, so the cam sensor is right here. I already disconnected it. This engine is missing the upper cover. You shouldn't be able to see the timing belt on yours just so you know. Okay, so the first test that I'm going to do now that I have the connection unplugged, I'm going to turn the key on and then I make sure that it's getting power. One of the wires should have 5 volts, which is the power to the sensor, and then the ground. So let me turn the key on and we'll take a look. Alright, so the key is on. Put it on volts. Make sure the negative lead is grounded. And let's check. Alright, so 5 volts. That is the power, and when you're looking at the connection, you're looking at it upside down, so it's actually this way. So it would be the one that has the flat edge right there. That is the power to the sensor, 5 volts, because that's the ground, 0.01. So we could even do it this way, around that. There you go. So now that we know that the computer is sending the voltage to the sensor we're going to test the sensor directly with a sensor tester so I'm going to use my sensor tester to test the sensor this is how the leads are connected red at the very end then yellow and black red is power to the sensor, yellow is signal black is ground obviously setting is going to be frequency and low Instead of cranking it over with the key, I'm going to use my remote starter so it doesn't spin too fast. And when the sensor works, these lights right here, they should flash. Nothing. I'm going to turn my light off so we can really see it. Okay, so it's darker now. Nothing. There's no pulse. Okay, so now I'm going to show you with the new sensor that I'm going to install how it should react. So now we're going to test a new one. Okay, so here's the new sensor and this is the direction that it faces when it's bolted to the engine. So the sensor tester is connected the same way I connected it to the faulty one. So we're going to set it to low frequency and how this works when your engine's operating the reluctor wheel goes by and you see what I was talking about right here. I'm going to turn the lights off again so you can see it. So every time it's going by, it sends a signal. And all I'm using is just a screwdriver. Any piece of metal really will do it because it's just acting as a ground but this happens super fast if the engine was running these lights would appear that they're just on all the time so in conclusion if you have a Beetle with a 2 liter engine that has a cam sensor code but you want to double check and make sure that that really is the problem before you just replace a part just for the sake of replacing it these are the steps that are needed to test the old sensor and the new one obviously as I showed you for modern vehicles the parts are not cheap so if you're not careful you can end up spending hundreds of dollars that you probably didn't need to spend if you tested the part. In this case we have confirmed that the sensor really is the problem so we're gonna go ahead and replace it. This will conclude this video in order not to make it so long but look for the upcoming one where I'm gonna show you how to replace the part and once we replace it we'll clear the code, we'll start the engine, make sure it runs good, has power and the code doesn't come back on. Thanks for watching, see you next time.